Hello there. What's this? No gameplay? No GTA? No Borderlands? Nope. But a keyboard review. A membrane keyboard review with rubber dome membrane switches, which is not the most exciting thing in the world, but this particular keyboard is pretty unique, I guess, because, and my voice is going higher, which is not so good, but two USB ports. Ooh, and all two of them. And the model number is, in case if you want to purchase it, if it focus for me, focus, focus, good camera, good Galaxy Note 3 camera, SK8135, it doesn't look like it's focusing. There we go. SK8135. Has rubber feet. Pretty typical. It has little rubber pieces. It slides. Let's see. Yeah, it slides. So not that useful. Then again, this this is a pretty inexpensive item. Well, at least to me, I purchased this off of a Goodwill, so. But anyways, on to, the, on to the review. The review is something that we need to get on to. And it has these keys that I never use. Back forward, close, refresh, home, email, desktop, calculator. Did I mention the knob, the knob here? Very, very, very a plus. Uh, yep. Because it's not one of those clicks where each click is a small increment that's not exactly as precise as you would hope it to be. But with a knob, you can be just that more precise. Just, just that more. Maybe just this more, but I'm not so confident there, but I'm a little more confident to say just this much more precise. Comes with a rubberized cable and silver plated USB head so you're not seeing anything unique here just to point it out and it's a full 104 keys layout which is very useful if you do Excel sheet QuickBook coding and various forms of calculations where this number pad would be useful if you're just gonna play video games which I would say me but then again I do Excel sheets and accounting stuff so not really me but a good portion of me no, not really, because I basically get to play games during my break. When I'm not in my break, I'm too busy with school and work and getting my life straightened out. So, not, not too much there. But, when the times that I am able to play video games, this, this part here, it's basically all you would need or those of you that are very fancy into this keyboarding hobby 
you would call it a 10 keyless keyboard which is just actually it's right here it's not here this this is actually a really shortened version it should be right right here yeah there you go this is a 10 keyless cut chop this part of, chop chop it up there you go 10 keyless and on to the sound test which is Seriously, something that every keyboard enthusiast reviewer should include. Just a sound test. Why? Because I'm not alone here, and a lot of the times when I watch a keyboard review, I really want to know how it sounds. I really do. And there are some very unique keyboards out there, such as the Topre Type Heaven. Man, that is that is the keyboarding dream right there. To get my hands on that keyboard for a week or something to review. Those those keyboarding companies out there. If you're watching this video, send me a type heaven and I'll do a professional, professional review on it. Will be a lot more not as tacked on as this particular review. Yes. Send me a Topre type heaven or that cooler master Nova touch. Oh. I really like to get my hands on that one too. And which one was it? There was a uh, Steel Series, Steel Series Apex, which which now has a unique type of mechanical switch, which which I didn't get to try out because I thought they would have it at my local Best Buy because they have the. Logitech Romer G and the Razer Black Widow. Those those were the ones that they have on on the demo table, and they should have they they should have a Steel Series Apex. They should. I would love to try that out. Anyways, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. This is a this is a membrane keyboard. So it's not really that exciting. It, it's it's like it's like a Honda Civic or a Toyota Corolla of keyboards. Well, maybe that's being a little harsh because it does have this volume knob, which is pretty special, and it does have two USB ports. So I'm I'm gonna say it's it's more of a Oh, here's a good one. It's like a Mazda 6 of keyboards. So it's, for the most part, pretty boring, but, but, it does have unique features that make it stand out from your typical 10 or so dollar membrane keyboard or at least from looking at it I, I would assume it's about 10 or so if it costs any more than that then go get something else <laughs> I, I mean if this this particular keyboard costs like $20 then uh, I'm not too excited on getting that but if it's 5 then that's a pretty good price Anyways, here you have it, the Mazda 6 of keyboard. And once again, I will repeat myself. Those of you that are in the keyboarding industry, if you're watching this, send me a Topre Type Heaven, and I will do a professional review on it. This particular keyboard... If it's 
Five. Five dollars? Buy. If it's ten dollars, yeah, think about it. If it's fifteen dollars, pass. 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 But five dollars? Bye.